Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTicker. In this video, I'm going to do the speed test and RAM management test comparison between the Realme Exxon Max versus Moto H20 device. And it's been a quite a long time doing this kind of side by side comparison between these both phones. And let's see, friends, after the recent update from the Realme Exxon Max, is there any kind of improvement in terms of the RAM management when compared with the Moto H20, the stock UI versus Realme UI? So, this is going to be re really an epic comparison, friends, because I'm trying to do this kind of uh, speed test for a long time, and finally, today I got some time to do. And let's see which phone has got what kind of uh, speed results and both phones are absolutely the 8 gb ram variants only models i'm trying to use at this moment let me go to the wi-fi settings what kind of wi-fi are connected at this moment that's also a really important one and 2.4 gigahertz both phones i did connect to the same kind of wi-fi network as you can see friends, same 2.4 gigahertz network and still that uh, display touch issue problem did not get fixed and still the wi-fi reception speed sometimes it's not that fast I'm getting plenty of comments on this particular topic. Whenever I make a video on the H20, I do get this kind of points. That's the reason I'm trying to mention in this video. And all the apps are completely clear from the background RAM management. As you can see, there's no background applications running at this moment. And these are the five applications and five games which I'm going to demonstrate in this video. Let's start with the first application, which is a Chrome application. Let me just slightly zoom in a little bit. Now let's open the Apple website. Now let's keep this in the background RAM management is a touch sampling that application and I just want to keep these lines in the background as a RAM management and next is Amazon application let's go to the mobiles and try to observe the loading speeds so which four is loading slightly kind of faster Flipkart and Not bad. So both phones are pretty good. Loading speed. Let me need to open it same time. Sorry. Yep. So because of this camera bump, it's kind of wobbling a lot. The Moto H20, as you can see, friends, clearly. Yes, the Moto H20 has got some kind of uh, display touch issues in the Moto H20 device, and Wi-Fi reception speeds also it's not uh, that great. I mean, if you're trying to be near the Wi-Fi router, then the Wi-Fi speeds will be really good. But if you are in the another room, then it's kind of not that great when compared with other phones. You can check out the Flipkart ratings also regarding the display issues. Still, there is no update uh, which has come in this device to fix these issues. So right now you can see the speeds, Wi-Fi speeds. Let's keep these results in the background as a RAM management only. I'm trying to keep. Next is our games. Let's start with the first game, Asphalt 9 game. And I did not enable any kind of game space. There is no game space enabled and there is no game time enabled. Nothing is enabled. So no game space, nothing is involved. Let's see. Which phone gonna turn on this Asphalt 9 game fast? And Snapdragon 778G processor versus Dimensity 1200 chipset and UFS Storage 3.1 versus I think UFS Storage 2.2 in this device. Read and write speeds. So let's see the Badgerons mobile game. Which phone opens this one? And the stock UI is really, like, really great in terms of the RAM management. No issues with the stock UI friends. You can easily load up to 30 to 40 applications in the background in this RAM management, which is kind of possible in this device. That's a really good thing about the stock UI experience. Still no, I never had any issues with the RAM management in this device. In this Moto H20. Wow, fantastic. And let's see. I think overall the speeds, the Realme Exxon Max was able to open slightly faster most of the time but now the Moto H20 did open slightly little bit kind of fast next is a temple run game let's see so temple run game I think the real Moto H20 a little bit faster just a little bit not a huge but just a little bit yes and now finally all the five games and five applicants are completely open from the beginning Chrome website to temple run as you can see friends let's start with the first application which is a Chrome okay Let's see which phone opens this one without even getting refreshed. Page. Boom. The Moto H20 did show directly without any kind of uh, loading, nothing at all. But let's see about touch sampling that application. Boom. The Moto H20 stock UI was able to keep it. And this after the recent November security patch update in the Realme X and Max. Recent update only. Same exact phone as it is, it was there. No issues. Flipkart, yes, same phone is there, but it took some time to load the phone. 
and results as you can see the speed test results exactly it did not even get reloaded you may think that i can open actually from here as well but you should know exactly those apps were there in the background ram management that's the reason friends i'm trying to show you in front of the camera what is actually happening here exactly so it's gone from the background ram management now as you can see real makes some nice it's loading but moto h20 no issues so this is the power of stock ui experience one thing it doesn't matter what processor it is a little bit kind of better you'll be experiencing regarding the ram management in the stock ui so Baryon's mobile game both phones were able to keep and Grand Crash also both phones Hill Climb Racing also both phones yes and Temple Run also both phones not bad so except Asphalt 9 all of the four games were there in the background RAM management in the Realme X and Max and even this uh, Flipkart Flipkart is there in the background oh total 5 points and 10 out of 10 points in the Moto H20 device Moto H20 doesn't matter what application you open they will be there in the background even after 1 hour 2 hours as well few of the apps will be staying continuously in the background games i don't think this online these games will be there maybe small games but applications they do be in the background ram management for a long time and that's it friends thank you for watching this a quick comparison between both phones regarding the speed test and ram management test comparison even after the recent update still the realme ui is realme ui so stock ui is always stock ui so that's it friends thank you for watching stay tuned for more updates and meanwhile signing off and bye.